Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we have a new player guide for One Piece Fighting Path Characters Edition, right? So we're going to talk about a lot of things about characters. So I think I'm going to make a series out of this because there's a lot of stuff to talk about about this game, man. A lot of game mechanics and not only that, man, this thing is in Chinese, bro. So overall, you got to like translate and you got to understand the game mechanic. It's a lot of stuff, right? So we're going to go over some tips and tricks, I would say, for getting characters, leveling them up and stuff like that. So new players or even existing players know what's up in leveling up characters. So first tip I'm going to give you guys is download a translating app, man. We have tab to translate for Android. That's what we have right here, man. So it basically translates the screen, right? So you definitely need to have this, right? For Apple, I don't know uh, what you guys use Translate, but definitely have an app for you to translate uh, these these Chinese texts because it will make everything easier for you. If you have like questions and stuff that comes up, when in doubt, just translate. Ninety percent of the time, uh, you will get your answer by translating instead of like screenshotting and then asking for help. So definitely, man, download a translating app. For real, bro. Okay, so let's talk about characters. So this is a video dedicated to talking about everything about character leveling up, character badges, cards, skill trees, and all those stuff detailed in this specific video. So first off, let me just explain, right, the basic understandings of characters bro there's even like english text here filter heroes i've never seen this before guys like throughout this game there's like chinese text and underneath it they like translate it in english i don't know why they do that i don't know they're teasing a global release but bro they don't have to like translate it in English just saying filter heroes like bro that's crazy man but I don't know let me get to the point here so uh, there are uh, three different type of uh, uh, units right we got red green and yellow simple as that man but we also got ranks we got the collectors tier right we got collectors here Nami and ace these these units have their own specific skins and they're they're really good their ultimates look hella good skills wise they're amazing uh very rare like fragments in order to get their fragments you got to do special events you know stuff like that so highly highly special tier characters are collectors here next we have ss units you know those uh regular Units that we always get and standalone banners. So those are SS units. We got S units uh, from the battle pass, sailing pass, whatever you call it. Like those type of uh, missions that you acquire the S units. A rank and B rank, C rank, right? These, all these units are like easy to get uh, in summons. Uh, the newly added A rank is Bluno, and the newly added C rank unit is Miss Golden Week. I'm not sure if they're gonna add uh, a C rank unit. I have no mention. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna plan on doing that. But okay. So now let's talk about leveling up. So the most simplest forms of leveling up a character is right here, guys. Getting EXP books. There's four different kinds. This golden one gives you the highest. It increases your HP, attack, defense, and the max you can get that you can level up is based on your player level. So right now I'm at one, two, three. So that's how much max I could get right now. So how do you get books? Right, that's the question, right? Pretty simple, you have to go here. Go on to the third tab, 
this mission right here is where you get your books. Simple as that, man. So... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, let me let's see what this button does. Oh, this is just information about Akainu. If you guys want, you can translate this. And this one is just basically all his dialogue within the game. Right, so now let's talk about the next thing in leveling up, which is stars. So right now I'm at four star. Hopefully I can make him to six star. That's what this wheel is for, right? So I'm going to get the fragments. I'm going to level up each of these uh, spots here, and then it will level up to a star. So this is a six star effect. So once you get a six star... Akainu gets the ability of magma on his hands, right? So that's just like a special effect uh, for six star characters, right? Now let's talk about burst energy. So burst energy is pretty much common with all units, right? And it's based on the ranks, the stars. Um, so as you increase the stars, you get added bonus to this burst energy. Uh, so using it will damage the shield and stuff like that. So pretty similar to all the other units. The other one is special to the unit itself. So this one is a special ability for Akainu as you level up your stars. So let me just check what that is. Because I really don't know any of these, man. I got to keep on translating and stuff, you know. Uh, so this is uh, a lot of different skills here. Uh, we got some healing. Uh, we got some cooldown, two seconds. Uh, reduction, 50%. Bro, just level up these stars, man. You get all these bonuses. Pretty nice, right? So, yeah. A lot of bonuses here and there. Level up those stars. And this tells you how much fragments you got. It tells you where to go to get his fragments. I think this one is like his event. It's not available. The other one is through summons. So obviously you'll get him in the summons. 1.3% chance here. Okay, so next up is affinity. So whenever you get a character, right? You gotta uh, give him food. And that would increase the affinity. And look at all these stuff you could get. Right, cards, devil fruits, attack boost, like power boost. Uh, I think you also get his uh, special and his... Uh, uh, I mean, the extra card and the ult. And a lot of stuff, man. So, um, how do you get, like... Let me see. Right, so... Basically, you get these food, and how to get that food is... You gotta go to Sanji's place. This is where you cook the food. And the ingredients to cook the food, you gotta go to Usopp's place. And that is through adventures. Pretty simple, man. Pretty, pretty simple stuff here, guys. Uh, let me go back to Akainu. Yeah, so that is Affinity. Uh, yeah, that is all for this part right here. Okay, so now let's talk about cards. Cards in this game is a bit, like, complex, man. Like, it's just pretty, pretty hard to, like, understand so many levels of leveling up. Right, for cards. And they're at, they added an extra layer of leveling up uh, from these, like, these icons you see here from the latest update. So it, there's a lot of stuff going on with cards. So let's just talk about the basic stuff here. What you see on the far right is exclusive to the unit. So we got the extra card right here. That's the extra card. And we got the alt. The ult has a specific animation to, to it, you know, real nice. And we got the extra card, 
There's two different types, by the way. Right, this one's more for like PvE, right? Or you could use it for PvP. Uh, but yeah, there's two different types. Um, in order to get these two, right, you could go uh, head over to the like the summons, right? Right, like when uh, the banner is live for that specific SS unit, they'll have the uh, the card summons. That's where you get all the alt and extra card. You could also get it through the affinity. I think I said that before. Right, you can get it through the affinity. If you scroll all the way down, you can see that the extra card is there and the alt is there. So you can get it through affinity. You can also get it through uh, the shop. So if you head over to the shop and you get into the impulse down uh, shop, you'll get the alt uh, over here. Right, we got the Akino alt. You could buy that for 5,000. Uh, of these uh, currency uh, and if you go to this shop over here you could get the extra card so there's two separate ones guys right two separate as I mentioned before so this is the first one that we just saw and there's the other one somewhere around here yep right there this is the other one so two different extra cards so that covers this. Now let's talk about the three sets. Right, there's like a ton of three sets cards. Right, we got we got Luffy, we got the Luffy, which is like the purple. We got Toshigi, which is blue. And there's quite a lot of stuff, man. Quite a lot. So the main focus is to get golden cards. That it gives you the best. Uh, overall uh, power boost and then comes the purple ones which you always get through uh, events and stuff and then you get the blue cards so let's talk about how do you acquire like purple blue and gold uh, cards so uh, purple and blue you could get head over to the daily missions first mission right here right gives you uh those cards so i already did them so it will pop up over here right the purple and blue cards so that's where you get that where you get golden cards now that is interesting stuff man golden cards are in the shop so if you head over to the shop uh right here this one gives you those uh, those three set golden cards and this one gives you a chance of getting that right sometimes it gives you like alts which re which you really don't, really don't need sometimes it gives you alts for like a rank units uh, so yeah so these two definitely right uh, and this and this I would say this is for like a random extra card, a random alt for this one as well. This is used for card ascensions. I'll just talk about that later on. Okay, let me just head back to this. So, right, so since each character is has its own type, so right now Akainu is red. And red types have uh, certain uh, card sets. So, Crocodile could work, right? Golden Crocodile card, uh, I think. Who else? Oh yeah, Luchi. Luchi, could, Luchi card could work for a uh, red unit. So, I think also, yeah, that those two for the golden sets. Right. I mean, I've been always in my summoning videos. I always tell you guys which one's a the good set. So, if you see there's like a red in any of these cards, that means it's not suitable. Simple as that. Right. So, Luchi is good. Uh, Crocodile is good. Luffy, Golden, um, the purple card is good. 
and obviously the blue card also works but focus on the golden cards they are also universal golden cards right and that is Perona which can be equipped by any unit regardless of type and Moria as well so so what does the crocodile uh, card do so let me just translate it so two sets gives you attack bonus 20% Three sets gives you HP increase 20%. So I have the full three sets, so I'm gonna get both of these bonuses. Real nice. Oh, I got a, an ad. Let me escape that. Uh, let me go back. Uh, so let me look at Luchi. So what's his effect? So equipped, you get critical strike rate critical rate 30 percent and three sets gives you 20 percent hp so i'm getting both of this uh if i equip a full uh luchi set so i hope you guys understand that part man and then there's going to be like purple sets they have their own uh bonuses so yeah so that means i have a full three uh, crocodile set and it explains right here what are the bonuses I get right I get that attack bonus and that HP bonus real nice so that is the first part in cards let's talk about the second part in cards and that is refinement man this is I think a lot of people just click on this button right here and then they'll just pick whatever uh, uh, stats they get and they just they stick with it. However, there is uh, a lot of things going on with this man. So this purple bottle is used for card refinements and that pretty much gives you added power boost as well. And also, uh, so this is the uh, refinement power boost and then this is the bonus refinement boost right here so how do we acquire this purple bottle one is through the guild shop right the guild shop uh, and I think the other one was yeah pretty much it's in the guild shop I think that's the only way but there are like multiple events that it's coming out, you know, uh, that will give you this. So don't worry, you'll definitely get a lot of these. So I don't want to like change up this because I'm I have a specific uh, order that I placed here. So let me look, go into a, another one. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna refine this card. And look at that, I got a different set here. So I got minus 307. That means I'm gonna get a lower power boost. So you just keep on doing this until you find a green, right? So I got a plus nine, so I'm gonna get that in. However, right, however, you gotta look for the refinement bonus. You see that this part right here is shaded. That means I'm not going to get this bonus. I'm not going to get the bonus. I'm only going to get these two bonuses. That's because, right, you see this part right here? And I'll have a, like, all these Chinese texts and what they really mean. Right, this means universal. Like, this bonus is universal to all the units. And if you see this, this is are bonuses for Logia only. So Universal, Logia. And Logia is definitely Akainu, so two of these will work. Right? But if you're trying to get Logia or if we were trying to get Universal for all three, how is that gonna work when we're gonna keep on refining and all three is gonna disappear? That's the question. That's the question, right? So what you got to do is 
head over to the second slot. And this is where you lock the specific refinement bonuses, right? So let me just talk about, before I talk about that, before we talk about the locking system, let me just talk about this orange potion, which is also very rare, which can only be acquired through the guild uh, shop, through the guild tickets. How to get the guild tickets? You gotta play Guild Wars every Saturday, right? So get those guild tickets and you could exchange for these uh, orange potions. And what these orange potion gives you is higher uh, refinement bonuses. So, you know, there's like green, purple, and then there's also an orange, right? So this gives you really nice bonuses. Let me find a... I think I have one with Luchi. Wait, let me see if... No. Actually, let me see if for uh, T.S. Luffy has it. Yeah, T.S. Luffy has a orange uh, refinement bonus, which is really good. A huge bonus right there. So there's different tiers of refinement bonuses. So let me head back into a Akainu. Right, so... Yeah. Um, so what this orange potion gives you is higher tier refinement bonuses from purple to like even S, like orange tier refinement bonuses. Uh, let me try doing that actually, right? So I'm going to use three of these orange potions and look at that. Right away, I got like purple tier uh like refinement bonuses you get that refinement bonus but you don't get uh, those uh, special bonuses that you get see these are all uh, grayed out so you're not gonna get these bonuses right because uh, this I think is for Zoan or Paramecia uh, you know so you have to check basically translate and check if it's see yeah definitely so on right you have to translate each one to see if it's compatible with the unit itself uh so here it says per uh superhuman is per paramecia uh so yeah you could check that actually with the unit uh i'm actually gonna uh so it's telling yeah i'm gonna put that in you could check uh, your tag over here, like the first one, I think. Nature, yeah, that's definitely that's just like logia. Yeah, just like logia, it's keep on saying nature, but it's it's logia. So, um, yeah, so basically, refine them, right? Uh, refine them and refine them until you find a good uh, bonus like purple or uh, or orange with the logia symbol because for right now it's Aikainu and if I want to do it again I'm gonna lose everything so you gotta lock it and that's when the devil fruits comes in if you want to lock one refinement bonus it costs 60 devil fruits if you want to lock two that's gonna cost you 200 devil fruits. If you wanna lock three, uh, never mind, you can't lock three, but I, you get the point. Like, it costs devil fruits to lock bonuses. And to me, this is crazy, right? If you're planning to get a maxed out card refinements, right, you need like orange for all of these, and get Logia for each one, that's gonna cost you a lot of Devil Fruits. Definitely, it is gonna cost you a lot of dev Devil Fruits. So, I would say the best um, possible uh, strategy here is to use your purple um, 
purple potions and get the uh, Logia type with the purple as much as you can and then go into this orange potion and then locking it in to get a better stat because if you keep on doing this you're gonna definitely lose your devil fruits and to be honest i wish they just removed this and kept it like for belly instead so yeah maxing out a card refinement stuff is just it takes a lot of devil fruits to be honest i mean i'm not even perfect with this right i just keep on using the purple potions and it's just pretty much hard to get everything all aligned and maxed out it's crazy definitely crazy so that is refinement right i hope you guys understand that it is definitely complicated definitely but you just have to translate these uh bonuses tells you exactly uh, which uh what, what it is and if it's grayed out, you won't get that bonus. You will only get this bonus right here for me. So I got to keep on changing it up, right? Locking it in and all that stuff. So that is refinement. So the next thing I want to talk about is crystals. So crystals are just added leveling up for cards as well. So you attach crystals for each refinement bonus simple as that so here we got a crystal for each one so if you click on it uh, there is like these type of crystals which are just like the basic ones you get and there are like premium ones this one for example is like a premium crystal so where do you get these crystals right so if you head over to uh, this mission here right this is where you get a lot of stuff, by the way. So here you would get, uh, you know, the cards and stuff. But you also get that crystals, that blue crystals over here as well. So once you get the blue crystals, it's like preferred to like attach it to every single cards, right? Every single cards with the refinement bonuses because it gives you added strength, right? It gives you added strength. That's it. So th these crystals are universal says here that let me see let me like translate that yeah this attribute uh wait doesn't translate it let me try that again for any refined entry uh i think this is oh it's translating this but yeah this this is um universal right however this premium one is not so if you translate this this premium crystal it says that it only gives its uh bonus to animal type zoan type only right oh there's another ad popping up so where do you get these type of premium crystals so if you head over to the shop This is where you get those premium crystals for 30 of these. So I think... I think you get this from... This material from the... Let me see. I think you get it here as well. Not too sure on that. I think you get it here. Yeah, I think you, you get it here. So once you get th those premium... Uh, crystals, right? Right, so you, you get these premium crystals and you gotta translate them for real, bro. Like if you put it this in a wrong type, like uh, a, like a, a Perimetia or Logia, you won't get the bonus. So this is animal type, so only animal type will work. And yeah, so right now, uh, let me see, if you go into yeah, so here, so there, this is the, the card bonus, this is a re refinement, and this is the crystal willpower, right? So if you equip all blue crystals, you only get, like, willpower of one. 
right? It says right here, will power roll one attack power increases by 3%. However, if you have three premium crystals attached, you will get the level four willpower uh, and all of these willpowers if you attach all three uh, premium crystals. So that is basically it for the newly added crystal system for cards. Just like that, man, it's pretty simple. Uh, focus on putting all these on your existing units, uh, car refinements, and then grind to get these, translate them specific to the type, and then equip them on all three to get that added bonus. And once you get, once you've done all that, right, so let me actually, so I have three right now, so let me get someone. Right, let's let me see. Let, let me get these uh, Alkiji card. Right, let me try uh, applying this set right here. So I'm gonna apply, apply. Right, I'm getting that extra bonus applying, and it tells you that I'm gonna bind uh, Collectors Tier Nami with that willpower that I talked about, and I'm gonna bind it with this unit. So now Nami is going to have this. So let's say, for example, if I want to go back, let's say uh, we have this card right here, right? He's already equipped with crystals. Let me go back. And I'm going to change it. I'm going to give uh, Whitebeard the Akainu uh, card. I'm going to switch it. Yep. Definitely switching it and then see this is what happens. So it's telling you that you want to switch the binding. So in order to switch the binding, you need this type of material. Right? Meaning like you get the willpower switched. And this I think is in the shop as well. Uh let me see. Where do you get that? I think you get that. Yeah, you get that in the shop. Right here. It costs 100 Devil Fruits. So, make sure that when you're binding units, that it is um, for certain that you're going to bind with that specific unit. So, make sure you do that, guys. So, that is pretty much it with uh, the cards and leveling up. Well, I actually did not to talk about leveling up, actually. So, but that that is crystals, by the way. That's just crystals. Let me find uh, leveling up. Right. So, when you have duplicates, you will need to ascend uh, this specific card. So, right now, it's missing a star so you need to get duplicates of that uh, card to refine it so I need two more I'm missing two more so that you could get from the shop as well so I could get two card ascensions cards whatever you call this and I'm gonna buy it right I got two right here so I'm gonna go back level this card up and then I'm gonna need to get these materials so you go head over to that let me get that material got it let me go back and you just level them up oh I'm missing something let me get this one as well Okay. And now we got a maxed out card here. And in order to level up cards, you guys, you also have these Laboon cards. Uh, that is that is also in this mission as well, right? You get Laboon cards here, right? And there's also a mission to get Laboon cards over here as well. So. Yeah. Let me max out this card. I 
And just like that, card is maxed. So, that is pretty much the card system uh, for this for this game, right? It, it is a lot. I mean, bro, I think that's probably like 30 minutes of talking. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, that is cards, guys. It's complex. It is a lot of leveling system. The fact that even they even added this crystal stuff is just crazy. They might even add more stuff into the card system, but that is cards. That's a lot of stuff. So next up, we got the skill tree. So uh, skill tree is so simple and basic that pretty much every single rpg game has this to be honest it's so simple guys like there's skill tree of one to like to 12 at the moment and they're probably gonna add more stuff it's just simple just level up uh these specific spots here we got defense we got uh hp we got certain uh skills to level up as well so in order to get this you gotta uh find these type of materials so it tells you where to go you get a few stuff from the guild shop as well I got redeemed some of these uh, and also their specific missions right just get these materials and just level up the skill tree simple as that man you could use this uh, button to if you have all the materials you could use it you should complete everything in one go man this is the most basic thing but yeah, that is uh, skill tree. Next, we got to talk about badges. So badges are pretty simple, right? I got a full maxed out badges for Akainu. One, two, three, and four. So what's so good about badges is that it gives you like hidden skills, hidden abilities, just by leveling up your badges so here is the full description of badge effects so let me just translate badge effect uh one right skills increase damage cost by 50 percent you know um deals 50 percent normal attack five seconds and badge effect number three Increases 64% of charging time after hitting the enemy the critical damage of Kainu increased by 5% yo It's stacked. It is literally stacked. This guy is a huge huge menace in PvE and PV, uh, PvP man. This guy is so good So in order to get full badge effects, you gotta max out your badges simple as that man and how do I get uh, the perfect badge if you have a full six stat right here full six stat badge golden Right, that's the best badge six stat right here. Oh Shit only at five. I need to get a better one Yep, I gotta go back to the badge mode and get the uh better stat for batch three got a six stat right here as well real nice so yeah get a six stat badge golden right and there's like um purple badges uh but golden is the best you could also get this in the shop as well so if you go in the shop right you could get it here and here as well right the golden ones and the purple ones so the game mode for this I think I did explain it in my in a very long video uh, like way back this is where you get the badges you get like blue purple uh, golden right just go and compete in these and you'll get the badges there so that is I think that is badges right that's just badges uh, simple as that 
Okay, so the next thing uh, I want to talk about are a few of these icons, right? This one shows Ikaino in full uh, view, like model view, so you could just scroll, uh, like rotate to get a picture. Uh, this one is like comments about the unit. I mean, I have never, I never use this. Might as well just use it right now. I, I, I can't even put a space in with the frick. Okay. Good. Okay. Real nice. And we have the the top players that are using Ikainu here. So this is in my server. This guy has 356 power level for Ikainu. Full full uh, crocodile set. Man only has a three star. Bro, ain't no way. I, I, I bro, I feel like his crocodile set is just fully maxed like as i said before man like refinement top tier and probably his crystals are top tier like bro a three star how is that even possible bro bro a three a four star man doesn't even have a a, a three set only has a two set and 351 and he's level 120 Bro, am I am I tripping? Or is that the actual power level? That's the power level, bro. How is that? I don't know. Something's not adding up. This is a four star, three set, Luchi. Bro, this shit right here, that's not adding up, man. I have no idea how this is. This guy's this strong. Full, full badges. That's crazy, guys. Let me see. Top four. Man, still. Like, bro. I don't understand. Yeah, all of them got that six stat badge, full set. Yo. Nice, but I, I don't understand. Like, I thought that these people were like whales, full six stars. I guess we don't have. I don't know. But that's just crazy though, like still getting this much, not even a full six star? Damn. So yeah, you could like compare units uh, and stuff like that. So I think I covered pretty much everything on characters. So that's a lot of stuff. I'm pretty much going to break it down in this video on a lot of things like level A cards, skill tree, badges. And I hope they, you know, stick with this and not add more stuff. It's gonna be even more complicated. But I don't know. Maybe there's gonna be like limit breaking next. Cause right now, it's six stars at max right now. Right? Imagine they make a limit breaking system having orange stars. Yo, that'd be crazy, bro. A lot more stuff to come. I know they're going to make stuff like that. But yeah. So that is the new player guide for characters edition. Hope you guys liked the video man. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hope this video was helpful. Um, and see you guys in the next video guys. Bye.